Welcome to our home. Yo, Joe, dun 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 dun. G.I. Joe is here with Plastic Junkie and Joe. G.I. Joe is there. G.I. Joe. No, it's there. They're here with me. No. In oh. With Plastic Junkie. Oh, oh, okay, who cares? Let's okay. get rid of the review. Yes, finally, I digged out one of my mint box G.I. Joe vehicles, Tiger Cat. Tiger Shot in French. It's English and French. It says weapons do not shoot. Les armes ne tirent pas. Means it means <laughs> the same thing. It means les armes tirent pas. That's it. Uh, here in Montreal, uh, we well in Canada, we had a store called Wool. Wo Wool. Wo My Wo Wo goodness, eh? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. It's we close. were we were just reminiscing about this before we before <clears throat> the Godfather rolled it. Um, it was one of the only stores in Montreal here in in our, in our country that was had really really cool toys and huge sections. I I'm telling you, nicer than Toys R Us now. Toys R Us is crap. Well, now, yeah. It's it, a, it then was always. a different world back then. Yeah. This is the book that uh, Joe Nerd talked to me, to me about one day and said to me, what's his name, Mark? Mark Belemo. Yeah, he talked about it once on your on your channel. Uh, no, I never talked about this but you book on my it. channel. I don't know if I ever did, but... Uh, you told but, me, okay, you told but, me by word that the, that there's a nice book called uh, by Mark Balamo. Mark Balamo. And, uh, you know, of G.I. Joe. So one yeah. day, I was bored out of my skull. I went downtown here where I live, and I go, yeah, let's go to Chapters. I went to Chapters, and lo and behold, they had the last copy of this. And I felt the ultimate guide to G.I. Joe, 1982 to 1994. It's volume I, two. Volume two, second edition. I was flabbergasted. I had to buy it. I paid... Uh, About 30, is it? Yeah, 30 dollars, 30 Canadian dollars. So basically it's the same price. I was happy. This book, just a little bit dented here, but this book is awesome. I have this, I, I have this vehicle, what's this called, the Rolling Thunder? Uh, no, the... Uh the uh, mobile command center. Command center. Yeah, I still have it mint in the box, believe it or not. And uh, and it goes on and on and on. And there's so many. The pictures are beautiful, big. Yes, it tells you. Yeah, it's the like value the, of everything. Yeah, the ultimate reference guide. Yeah, but it's good because it tells you the value of stuff, how much they're worth, how much you should pay for them, and stuff like that. And it shows you pictures. It's not a guide that that shows you how much they're not worth. Yeah, it's it's for both. It's both for collectors and both for dealers. And like I said, I, I do a little bit of both. I have this loose. I have that loose. I have this loose. I have uh, ooh, what else? I have this loose. I have that loose. I have all of these. And the list goes on. My list is big for for. I have this. We showed off this. See, there we go. Cat. There it is. There. Yeah. This book is a must in any GI Joe collector. You must have this book. This is what I really like. I bought the Zartan one, that's cool. He's actually pretending that he's a swamp urchin or something, and he, he's just has a Dragging box of a junk. Of junk, yeah. That is super cool. Oh, yeah. yeah. But, oh, yeah, and uh, believe it or not, I have, all, Force. I have all the Night Forces. Really? I You're going to be all. getting those. Yep. Holy shoot. I got them already. Anyways, this book is a five star. Five star. Five on five. Like, when you're, fuck that. I give it a 10. This is a good book. This is a uber nice book. You must have to get this book. It is so sweet. It's very good. But anyway, we're here to talk about the Tiger Cat, are we not? Yeah. Okay. The box itself, uh, the condition it's in. It's in very good condition, actually. Wait, it, it's not I'm bad. good in my condition. In, the, in condition it's in about, out of one to five, I give it a three and a half. I'm not talking about um, yeah. uh, what I like about it. No, no, no. I'm just talking about the condition, condition. itself. It's uh, yeah, it's, it's not a near mint. It's got some rough edges. Yeah, it has some rough edges. Look, see the tape is un unlocking here. But as you can see, it's never been opened. You could still see the, the, the yeah. plastic in there. On the other side, the tape has been uh, separated, but... Because it's because it's old. But, yeah, but yeah, it's, it, on, it's the guy still... The pieces are touched. still in the bag. Yeah, they're still sealed. Uh, the value of this closed like this... Oh, my God. You know what? I'm gonna look this up, and I'm gonna leave the Joe expert to look at it, to talk about it. Oh wow! Thank you. Uh, so anyway, thanks for that praise. 
So the Tiger Cat, yeah. Um, obviously, it's a redeco of the um, of the Cobra. Oh, of the I'm a, I've had something to drink. Sorry, Snowcat. guys. It's a yes. It's a redeco repaint of the of the Snowcat. <laughs> That's what anyway, it's Cat. anyway, uh, with frostbite. So you know what's really interesting about this, actually. Frostbite is in that, it. Yeah, it's and frostbite. You know what's interesting is that it looks like in the painting that it is not in a it's not in an Arctic setting. Yeah, it's weird because Frostbite still has his Arctic gear. Yeah. Is this yeah. Destro? I mean, uh, th that's that's <laughs> right. Heck See, you guys. Guys. You've too. been drinking too. Duke, it's, it's and then you've like got... Duke. It, it is Duke. But that it is look meant, like him. It is meant to be Tiger Force Duke, and then you've got Tiger Force Flint and Tiger Force Dusty. I'm sorry, guys. I've been drinking. So, we all been drinking. Yeah, to but that's up. all right. Okay. We're having fun here. Sorry. But uh, anyway, the Tiger Force, for those who aren't familiar with Tiger Force, uh, this was Hasbro's first um, real way, a uh, creative way of reusing, uh, reutilizing some of the old molds. So what they did was they just recast all of these older molds from the very early uh, years of the line and they just redecoed them. So this was pretty much their first attempt at that. And it was pretty damn creative way and, for them to do it. And probably not their last. Oh, definitely <laughs> not their last. Transformers definitely like not that. their last, yeah. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, it's one of the best ways they've done it. And then the following year, I believe this saw release in 1988. If I'm not, no, I think I'm, yeah, fairly certain 1988 was the year this was released. In the book, they call it a tiger sting. Are you sure? I you... swear to you, look. I've just uh, no, it. you're looking at the wrong one, my man. the same one. Oh, you're so looking so at I'm the sorry. wrong one. Wow. And you should go f uh, further ahead in the guide. Oh, no, wait, it's... I'm sorry. It's from the next year, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, it's all screwed up, this. It should be around here. Oh, you know what? I was wrong. This might be from... No, you've gone too far. It's not here. Target shark, target I pot, believe target flight, that it came rat. out in 1989. If you look in 1989, plastic oh, junkie. Oh, I'm sorry, I lost oh, it. It is 88. There we go. Yep. Okay, so basically, in the guide, it says it's worth between 95 to 135 dollars in the box. Well, for me, I really disagree. I would say in in this condition, it's about I would say but about 145 to 150 and up. And the c better condition is the more higher it goes. I, I wouldn't be surprised if you would see a, a, a specimen that's in dead mint shape at between the 250 and higher. Because these things are, but put it this way, bottom line is that you're not going to find any more closed vehicles anymore no. out there. People open them all. When it's sealed, it's sealed for life. I'm not going to open this, I'm going to keep it sealed. I love Tiger Force. I have the whole complete set. And get to what? Guess what? Every single vehicle is still in the package. Every single figure is still in the package. Can't wait to show those off. So, Joe Nerd, what more do you want to say about this? Um, what else can I say about it? Yeah. Um, it, it's really a shame that it's sealed that we can't show it off. Oh no! But, I don't want to show it off. But I'm, I'm just saying. But no, no, boo! Oh yeah, no, no. Wait, you want to but open I'm something just like this? saying. I'm just saying that. Come on! Uh, no! I dare you! It loses the value. <laughs> they, Who cares? They were really, they I were care. Really... You want to smell it? I know you do. No, actually. Uh, okay. <laughs> well, it's pretty old. It probably has lost its scent over the over the years. Hey, so you'd be a plastic yeah, right. Here. I'm surprised. I can find a good nose. But um, one thing I can tell you about these is that um, they're the paint masking was really really well done and that's why I love it spraying I on love it. it I recall that uh, the the tiger stripes that they are in fact this this nice and um, they all had like a, a spray of white from the front so you could see at the uh, at the nose of the cab here there's some white so that's done like with a jet of like a spray of paint it's um, really really striking so uh, yeah uh, my, uh, I'm pretty envious of the Plastic Junkie because he's he's really uh, found a really good collection of GI Joe museum pieces. Been, oh, 400 yeah. pieces. Oh yeah, museum pieces. Uh, four hundred in the collection, my friends. Four hundred. Yeah, you we're know, gonna have at least about three hundred videos just on GI Joe. Imagine 
Yes, Godfather, don't die on me, please. Uh, but, I have a heart uh, attack, the poor guy. Oh yeah, definitely. Uh, the Plastic Junkie, uh, he's not exaggerating. They, they are museum quality pieces, I would say. Look, I told a lot of my friends, Latin Joe, a Madman, and Joe Nerd, and so forth, the list goes on. If they go, why don't you collect G.I. Joe? The only way I would collect G.I. Joe, I'm extremely picky, is if I get it in one shot. I got it in one shot, it took me a long time to pay it, I am still paying it. And I'm getting bit by bit. I'm getting bit by bit. This is the back. In the back it says... Four surface mm. to air missiles. Yeah, surface you know to air missiles. Right, read everything. My All friend. right, and then yeah, th this is another thing I was forgetting to mention. Hasbro was really good with the writing and the suspension of disbelief. So here you've got the description. So you've got four surface to air missiles, two heat seeking surface to surface missiles. Actual uh, size shown. <laughs> yeah, that's no, super that, that's realistic not. detail. Sup uh, and then you've got. Movable windshield wiper. Canopy. Holds up to 10 figures? Yeah, okay, this I gotta see. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually it does. Yeah, okay. uh, there are foot pegs okay. along here and here, and actually quite a few in the back. So basically two here. Exactly, six. yeah. Really, oh, yeah, you're right. really, it's just two in the cab. Yeah, two. And then you've got a three bunch and three of them. Six, that's eight, yeah. and two in the back is ten. You're right. Yeah, okay. yeah. So, uh, yeah. And, uh... Yeah, what more can I say? It's Last one. beautiful. Um, sturdy construction for rugged play. Yeah, That's true. And Three points of uh, purchase here. Oh, yeah, that was the old flag point thing. Yeah. That was with the uh, mail order things. Yep. Mm, then you've got the nice Larry Hama written file card. Oh, I'm yeah. sure of it. Yeah. Can I read it quickly? Oh, yeah, you want me to? Sure. All right, so you've got file name. Stuart Fairley. Uh, I'll just go to the diagram. Oh, of course, this is the Canadian version, so it's a little shorter. So, oh. battling Cobra Toxo Vipers in temperatures over 45 Celsius. 45 degrees Celsius is like fighting them in the furnace. But somehow, that frost jockey from the north keeps his cool. I saw him pulverize a full-scale attack by... But, oh, all right. I saw him pulverize a full-scale attack by a battalion of enemy troops just by firing his Tiger Cat's main gun batteries at the center of their ranks. With guys like him over there, we have nothing to worry about. Shoot, I'm sorry, guys. It's I've, so I've small. had a few to drink no, there, it's so and small. it's a little small. That's one of the sides. So you could tell yeah. it's, it, it over the year it got open. This is underneath, where you could see... Um, the co-cells. Tiger fly, tiger rat, tiger shark, tiger paw. I like it because it's simple names. Yeah. Then you see the other side here. Yeah. Then you see, again, this side here. It's the same thing as... Pretty much, yeah. And then see the front. All uh, around beautiful. The only thing I, f I don't really like about this is that it shows a picture instead of showing mm, the bubble thing. Yeah. I like, I'd rather see the bubble thing and look at the figure. I love the Tiger Force, Night Force, and Python Patrol are my three favorite. Oh, but Plastic Junkie, I thought you said you don't collect much G.I. Joe guys. Yeah, I, I'm a more of a Cobra collector, but my favorite G.I. Joe ones are Tiger Force like and Night lines. Force. Yeah, um, I like yeah. sublines. Like, yeah. but yeah. Tiger Force and Night Force are my two favorites of GI Joe. Those are my favorite. Yeah. But the Cobras, there's a lot I like. I even want uh, what's it called? A septic tank. I don't know why, oh, but I want. Really? One. Oh really? Yeah, my I want goodness. one. It's okay, ugly, okay. but I like yeah, yeah, yeah. it. Yeah, I like that shit. Very colorful. Yeah, I give this. A, I have to give it a ten. I, I swear to you, I, this is how much I love it. I love it. This is amazing. Look, the original price, sixteen ninety seven in nineteen eighty something. And he got it for fourteen ninety seven. Pass it, Junkie out. Yep, Joe Nerd out. Thank you very much, Joe Nerd, for your GI Joe uh, knowledge. And we're gonna in the You're near welcome. future we're gonna do more GI Joe. Yo, Joe.